Hey folks, in this episode, we share our journeys on US-1, the Overseas Highway, as we head to Sugarloaf Key, Key West KOA Resort. Come along. Make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure. Dante Fussell Visitor Center. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's a shame that we couldn't spend more time here. It's 118 miles from Biscayne to Sugarloaf KOA. No interstates. It could be two or four lanes, depending where you are. It's not fast. Okay, this is us turning on to US-1. The South Dixie Highway, we're headed to the Keys. Continue for 107 miles. Yeah, only 107 miles. And I imagine it's going to be just like driving through Boardman. All right, this is it. We're almost at the last chance. The Last Chance Saloon is the last chance to turn around before traveling nearly 20 miles to Key Largo. The median here is famously painted a teal color. Okay, we are on US-1 South, on our way to Key West, you can tell because of the traffic and because of the jersey barrier that's painted, is that teal, painted like the ocean. I feel like I've driven on this road before, how could that be? Are we crossing the bridge into Key West? No, we're crossing the bridge into Key Largo. <laughs> It's the first key. Do you think that's a mangrove forest? Could be. We got onto Key Largo and realized the ocean wasn't always going to be right outside the window. <laughs> it's gonna sound dumb, but it reminds me a little bit of the other banks. You know? One road. One road. And then a bunch of little sand roads that go off the side. Tavernier Creek Waterway, crossing some water. It's, it's a small creek. Brand new name. The marina here is quite bustling. Wow. Wow. We may have made a miscalculation because it is bumper to bumper traffic here. We came here on a Saturday afternoon and that may have been an enormously gigantic mistake. Because how many more miles do we have to go, Katie? Ah, uh, dun dun dun, da -da -dun, da -da -dun, calculating, calculating. 66. 66 miles. And I hope that it's not all like this because that would be mind-numbing. Might run out of gas. Okay, there is a drawbridge here for whatever body of water this is. I don't see any large ships coming through, which is great. Is that a sandbar out there? Yes, Scott sent us a picture out there. Wow. Uh, party on the sandbar. I said, oh, that'll be us in a couple days. Okay, and we are now in Wind, Windley Key. Windley Key. It's interesting because you just drive across a boat and you're in another key. Bridge, not boat. Yeah, not boat. I'm getting tired. You just drive across another bridge and you're in another key until you get like further down where the big, you know, the big bridges are. Not even close. And we are driving into Upper Maticum Key. Oh dear me. What? Uh, stay alert, stay alive. Look what happens when you don't. That little fender bender has made things far worse on that side. 
Where is the water? Isn't that something? Like, I thought these things were real skinny and I was going to see more water. You know, Mrs. Dobbsquad. Yes, Mr. Dobbsquad. When we went on our honeymoon, lo, those many years ago, we decided to drive up US-1 in New England. Do you remember this? Yes. And we thought we would see the ocean Where the was whole the ocean? Time. There was nowhere to be found. Right. Isn't that interesting? But I need coastal roads to be I on mean, the coast. We've seen the ocean a little bit. Actually, probably not even the ocean. It's probably some bay, creek, or some Damn. such thing. So. The tea table. Love to know why all these islands are called this. Why they have their little names. I'm sure there are trillions of books written about it. Maybe you could tell us one in the comments. The ocean! Yeah! Oh my! It's the ocean! It's all around us. Welcome to the Alright, we're going across an even bigger bridge now. Bridges are getting longer. I was apprehensive about driving across these long bridges, especially the Seven Mile Bridge. But the thing is, you can see land, keys, all around you and you're definitely not alone. Yeah, Iguana Capital. Okay, so Montana has Marmots. Look at that one. Oh, it's so little. Sorry, Mon I saw one swimming. Montana has Marmots and North Dakota has prairie dogs, but the Florida Keys have Iguanas and we have seen tons and tons of them way down here. It's amazing. But only after we got to Long Key, is that right? I think it was Long Key it was the first place we started to see them. So I don't know why that is. We are, I guess, on Duck Key or next to it. I, I had no idea. We are just entering Tom's Harbor. I had no idea how far down these things were. First of all, how long some of them were. And secondly, how far spread out they are. And to think that the very last one at the tippy top, and whatever, the very bottom is one you have to drive a boat out to for dry tortugas. It's crazy. It's unlike anything we've seen, for sure. Okay, we just entered oh Marathon. Oh my gosh. Did you see that one? There's a bunch right there. Hey, there was a you just missed a giant one. one. I, I saw one too. It was as big as, the, as big as a kayak. Not really. But it was <laughs> giant. All right, we just entered the city of Marathon. And I imagine it's going to look a lot like the rest of the places. What's a giant sign there? Dolphin Research Center. Open daily. Uh, I feel like there's a giant dolphin, all right. I feel like, did we hear this is like the largest city of the Middle Keys? I think there's a Walmart here and there's a big hospital. Oh, really? Yeah. Like this is sort of, like there's a lot of services here. they call it marathon is because it's 32 miles. I thought marathon was 26 miles. Oh, right. What do I know? Not much about marathons. No. Probably Adam. Never. Where's Adam? Never will. Here we are, though. Very little ocean to see. Scott's at the Seven Mile Bridge. Oh, da-da. The name Marathon Key came about when railroad workers commented on the difficult pace of building the Florida East Coast Railway. This is getting to be a real marathon. All right, we think this is the beginning of the Seven Mile Bridge. So many iguanas. Right, many iguanas. Marathon is a big deal. Yep, Seven Mile Bridge. Hello, Seven Mile Bridge. That's the old Seven Mile Bridge to our right, one that was taken apart. Um, part of it was used for the movie True Lies. If you 
I've ever watched that delightfully tacky movie. You know, there's part of it where they appear to blow up part of the Seven Mile Bridge. That's it. It is now a bike and walkway that goes over to this key over here. I have no idea what the name of this key is. I'm sorry. I'll put it down on the thing. <laughs> Anyhow, so Seven Mile Bridge. There's not much out here but water. For seven miles. For seven miles, indeed. Seven miles. Almost all of the keys are in something called Monroe County. Florida has some pretty large counties. The one we were staying at last night over in Naples is Collier County, and it is our neighbor was telling us it's one of the largest counties in the state. And we drove from Collier County into Miami-Dade County, which was kind of exciting for fans of CSI and Miami, right? Okay, so you can see that the walking bridge there, uh, the old Seven Mile Bridge, goes over to this little key with a few houses and things on it. I really wish I knew more about that. Sadly, I don't. Pigeon Key. Pigeon Key. All right. Oh that? my! Look at that island. That's Pigeon Key. Huh. I kind of thought we would not see land at all out here, but you can see there's some off to the uh, off to the southeast, southwest. We're actually traveling west right now, which is kind of strange to think about. Look, there's a giant flock of pelicans. See how shallow it's the water super is. shallow right there. Right, which probably is why they built the bridge here. Anyhow, what is this? This is Moser Channel. All right. Oh, and here's the part of the bridge that's been that was blown up for the movie, or that fell apart for the movie, or whatever. I think that was for the channel. I bet that was a drawbridge at one point. There was yeah. another thing back there that was also disconnected. Yes, in fact, I bet you're totally right on that. Because this thing is really high. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's so high. So that was probably a drawbridge before. And, I can, and out on the horizon, I can see a bunch of keys over there. So I don't know what those keys are. I don't know if we're going to end up on those, maybe, who knows. But I bet you're right. I bet that was a drawbridge there that was used for that movie. Yes. You take a big right at some point. Take a big right turn and head out there. So then one of those maybe is... No name key. One of them is... Okay. That's fine. It's 89 degrees down here. It's a little cooler. That it escaped. Yeah. What is the name of that key off to our left? Anybody know? Anybody molasses know? Key. That's Molasses Key over there. Look at that little sand. Yeah, let's take our boat there. We're getting a boat. This wasn't nearly as terrifying as I thought it was going to be. It makes you feel better because there's this other bridge right next to you. Not that that would help you any. I think what makes me feel better is it's not really all that deep. Is it really all that deep right here? I don't know about right here. Okay, so it wasn't scary driving across the Seven Mile Bridge. How could it be? Sun in the sky, warm, 10,000 other cars. It is a long one, though. If there's a house there. Okay, we have reached the end of the Seven Mile Bridge, and that means that we are now on Little Duck Key. This is Ohio Key. Here is a gigantic RV park. Sunshine Key. Is this our... a campground? No. Sunshine Key Resort and Marina. Not us. KOA, mile marker 20. Mile marker 20, that's where we're going. Ohio, Bayou Honda Channel. 
I suppose that would tell me that the Bahia Honda State Park is going to be here. So then I think to our left to the south, one of the hardest state parks to get a reservation in in the country. Yes, here it even says we're entering Bahia Honda State Park. This is Bahia Honda Key. With the generator strapped in the front. Big Pine Key. Oh, Big Pine Key. Welcome to Big Pine Key. That guy just threw back a giant fish. Wow, Apparently, not, not the kind of fish he was fishing for. It's a big enough. Maybe it was a carp. Hey, watch for the little baby deer. It's the Big Pine Key Resort. If this is the key deer habitat. The Millers told us about the key deer. Good little tiny deer, I guess. Next 17 miles. We only have 13 to go. You had no idea that it was this far down here, did you? No. No, people were saying, we're going to go to the Florida Keys. It's like, oh, okay. Now you get down here, it's like, geez, I like the Outer Banks was far. This is, the Outer Banks has nothing on this. What did you say? I'd say. The fact that we built a road to all of these is really something. Our key Turn left on Old State Road 4A. is Sugarloaf Key, Key West, KLA Holiday. There's the sign for it. Did you say a quarter mile? Is that what she said? Yeah. Is it right here? Key West. Not yet. Thank you, Monroe County School District. <laughs> I navigated us 1,400 miles. <laughs> Messed up the last fourth of a mile. That's something. That is something. <laughs> now we just uh, we just went down to Key West. Check it out. I mean, we saw some pretty cool things on the days down. Here is the KOA, the KOA, the KOA. The southernmost KOA. We finally made it. Now it was time to set up camp and relax a bit before starting our Key West adventures. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we provide our review of the fabulous Sugarloaf Key Key West KOA Resort. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, like and share this video, and comment below.